I wouldn't recommend doing this with the engine running. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Odyssey Life. I'm Bernie. This is the Odyssey Life Workshop, and I'm always excited when you decide to stop by because today we're going back to the FL350 with an FL350 driveline video. Uh, it turns out our driven clutch is glazed, and uh, you know, I've done a lot of research and watched some videos and talked to some people over on the Odyssey Life Facebook page. If you don't know about that, head over to Facebook, check out the Odyssey Life Facebook page. You can scroll down at the top of the screen, you can see it says chats. Click on that, you can uh, take part in the Odyssey Life chit chat. We started over there too. Always somebody on there to answer a question, kick around ideas, maybe sell some parts. Uh, always people looking for stuff. So if that sounds like a good idea to you. Go ahead, head over to the Odyssey Life Facebook page. Join, be part of the family. We're almost up to a thousand members. Could be a thousand and one. So go ahead over there, join our family. And anyway, don't forget about our Honda Odyssey FL250 GT250 giveaway machine over here. Uh, this is a 1981 Honda Odyssey uh, built and themed after a 1967 Mustang GT500, hey. dubbing this the GT250. Uh, there's not a nut, bolt, plastic, or anything on this machine that's not going to get restored or replaced. And then, because Joe from Odd ATV, our proud sponsor, we're going to go ahead and give it away to one lucky Odyssey Life uh, YouTube subscriber. So go ahead, go ahead and subscribe to the Odyssey Life YouTube channel if you want your free chance to win the GT250, guys. Super excited. So many things going on here at the Odyssey Life Garage. I feel like I could stand here for an hour and talk about it. But as I said, FL350. Clutch Deglazing Odyssey Life Facebook page. Don't forget about the GT250 and our proud sponsor, Joe from Odd ATV. All right, guys, I'm tired of talking. Let's get to work. <laughs> As you can see, I got her pretty much torn down. I got the, the shock, the fender, the tire, the belt guard, the wing on this side, the skid plate on the bottom, and the seat and seat belts. I took that all out so we could have full access front and rear. I should have taken the battery box off, but when I noticed where we're gonna be working and what the problem is, the problem lies right back here with our driven clutch. If you can see, you can see the reflection of the jug off of, off of the, the sheaves. These are called sheaves, these clutch faces. So they're not supposed to be. Everything I read agrees that shiny is bad. So you can see right there where I used our 3M pad and I kind of scuffed that a little bit. And everything I read says you want to go ahead and do either a cross hatch pattern or around in a circle. Um, we're going to go ahead and probably do a cross hatch and the driven clutch in the or the drive clutch in the front. That doesn't need anything. It's real nice. Uh, it's not glazed over. But we're gonna go ahead anyway. We're gonna use our 3M pad and we're gonna do that one too. Just to say that we did them so there's no issues. I want you to see that we did get another drive belt from Joe from Odd ATV. And I was watching an episode of Cars and Cameras and they got advice or they got information that said to race prep your belt you should wash it in soapy warm water to get rid of the factory oils and then take a torch around the edges uh, real lightly just to burn those little threads off and that's what we did so this belt's ready to go the main thing is the clutches and that's what I'm gonna show you today so all right gentlemen <laughs> all right guys got a little bit of Windex here I've got our 3M pad is what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray spray some Windex on our 3M pad and I'm just I'm just going to go around in fact I'm going to I'm just going to jam this in here
right, folks, we're all done. Didn't take as nearly as long as I thought it would. We got rid of the shine. Uh, it looks really good. We even got rid of that uh, rust line around the outside. That 3M pad did wonders. Super excited about that. We also got the shine off the, off the front one too. We're ready to start putting this back together. So we got that whole pile of stuff. We got that stuff there too. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I'll set you guys up and you can watch me put this back together in time lapse. Super excited. <laughs> all right, folks, you already know what time it is. I can't put all that back together until I get a full belly. And that full belly is provided by Venice Pizza, the most wonderful pizza in the Williamsport, Pennsylvania area. Even that cutie at the counter. Ooh wee! She does a great job. All right, guys, I'm going to eat, and I'll see you in a few. Well, there are no leftovers today. I got tired of throwing away a half a pizza, and I donated it to the house. All right, folks, full belly's a happy belly. All right, let's get our drive belt on. That's our drive belt. All right, so next thing, we're gonna go ahead and put on our clutch guard. Next is our exhaust. We're gonna go ahead and start with this piece. And I went ahead and cleaned that up, but we'll have to polish it because it's stained. Let's put our seat in. Seventeen millimeter socket. Next is seat belts. All right. And they were all a 17 millimeter. So the next thing to go on is our fender. And that's just three 10 millimeter uh, bolts.
time for our shock. Last thing is the tire. All right guys, let's get this tire put on. Let's get it off this block. I knew we forgot something. All right, guys, super excited to get this out of the way. Uh, I've been losing sleep over this drive line ever since the last FL 350 rip and ride video with my nephew, Nick. If you haven't seen that, go back, check that out. Uh, you can hear this Odyssey sounded like a sick chainsaw. Uh, every time it got on a hill and I would hit the gas, it would, it would rev, but it wouldn't go any faster. And, and I knew we had belt slippage. We diagnosed the problem, we took care of it the proper way, and unfortunately, because it's about 9.30 Saturday night, we're not gonna be able to test it out. Uh, but rest assured, the next FL 350 rip and ride, this baby's gonna be ready in all her glory to go out there, shred it up, and spin some donuts. I wanna do donuts. <laughs> I am such a kid at heart. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by this week. Super excited to be back in the garage. Don't forget about our proud sponsor, Joe from Mod ATV, the man, the myth, the legend, and still the premier place for FL 250 and 350 parts. Uh, he is the man responsible for our FL 250 GT 250 Honda Odyssey giveaway. Don't forget, subscribe to the Odyssey Life YouTube channel for your free chance to win. Joe set this up specifically because he didn't want you to have to buy nothing to enter into the contest for a chance to win this. He wanted it to be free because this is his way to give back to you guys for being dedicated customers. So take advantage, subscribe to the Odyssey Life YouTube channel, get your name in the hat. All right, guys, I guess this is a week. I'm super excited. I'm going to be kicking butt, taking names getting ready for the big reveal and the big surprise we got coming for the FL250 video next week. You guys will not believe what we're getting in the mail, <laughs> but you'll have to tune in to see. So uh, look forward to that in the future. So, all right, folks, if you're riding this weekend, stay safe and don't forget, it ain't work if you're having fun, guys. See you next week. <laughs>